Hello and welcome to the Eduonics Learning Knockout JS course. In this course we're going to be focusing on the Knockout JS JavaScript library through slides, examples, and projects. There will be six chapters in total. Each chapter has three to six sections and each section will include a video and any documents, work files, and quizzes that belong to that section. So what you should know before taking this course, you should at least have uh, some basic knowledge in HTML and CSS, as well as JavaScript. jQuery is not uh, required, but we will be using jQuery quite a bit. But even if you don't know any jQuery at all, you still should be fine. And some basic programming logic, so things like uh, if statements, variables, arrays, things like that. It's a, it's a it's definitely a plus if you can understand all of that. All right, with that said, even if you don't know any JavaScript, you could still take the course and you could still learn a lot, including JavaScript. But I would say at the very least, you need to know at least some HTML. So the technology and concepts we'll be talking about in this course are front-end UI development, of course, Knockout.js, data binding, Knockout.js is a data binding library. That's the main focus of it. That's the point of it. Um, so we'll be talking about that quite a bit. Um, SPAS, which is a single page application, will be dealing with a lot of JSON syntax and JavaScript objects, uh, JavaScript, jQuery, and Ajax. And then in the final project, we'll be working with Node.js, Express, and MongoDB. But if you don't know any of those, that's fine. Uh, we, just, we just used it to create the back end um, API for our last project. So chapter overview, chapter one will be getting started. So basically just an introduction to Knockout. Uh, we'll also have a JavaScript refresher where we'll talk about um, just basic JavaScript. Chapter two will be all about view models and observables, which are a huge part of Knockout JS. Chapter three will look at all the different types of data binding. All right, so input field, value data binding, text, um, HTML, all kinds of uh, the different data binding that's available with Knocko. Chapter four, we'll be talking about templating. Okay, so we'll look out the we'll look at the native template system as well as using a third party template system like underscore. Chapter five will be about components and chapter six will be the goal tracker project. So with the project, we'll be building the back end and we'll also be working with a MongoDB database and we'll be using Ajax calls to interact with it. Okay, so that's the summary of the course. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and learn a lot from it. So let's get into our first chapter.